Wait for it. Test one, two. Test one, two. Okay. Have you ever seen this coming? I really wish there was a way to deactivate the commercial that people have to watch if you're not subscribed, because I don't. I kind of hate that. I don't want people to have to subscribe. I don't. I don't want people to have to pay to watch me play a video game. That seems stupid. All right. Um, let me tweet this out. Tweet. Back to this. Uh, and then let me put in a movie to have playing. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's play the Chris a Christmas story. Again, go got it muted, but just to have something playing. Okay, there we go. Alright, so how are you guys doing? It's the day before Christmas Eve, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Um, I've got me... I, so, I went to the grocery store... Ye, no, today. Today? No, I'm sorry, yesterday. Did I go yesterday? Yeah, I guess, no, I guess I did go yesterday. But I got some of these Monster Energy... Uh, this is Zero Ultra. I don't know what flavor this is, though, because I don't... So I got a four pack of them. It's way cheaper. This is um, meant to be. Uh, does it even say? Our team. What? A little less sweet, lighter tasting, zero sugar, but with a full load of our Monster Energy blend. Uh. Doesn't say. Uh, seems like uh, Wicked Kitten had said that I think she'd said that this was like a blueberry or not, no, a mango or something. You ever think we'd end up here? Mm. It's kind of a. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. It's like a fruit punch, maybe. I don't know, but it's good and zero sugar, so the whole the whole can is ten calories, which is fan freaking task. It a task. Fan freaking tastic, which I I love, um, cause I'm trying to trying to watch my girlish figure, as they say, um, so still trying to. My goal, my ultimate goal, is to get under 200 pounds and to stay between like, between 195 and 200. Right now I'm like between 200 and 205. Actually, this morning I was like 20. Was that 206? I think this morning. Two or six and a half. So I'm like, well, crap. So I'm trying to kind of get it below. Uh, oh, the Sheen. Thanks, man. That's really nice of you. Thanks, dude. Um, I was just talking about this monster drink. I bought a four pack of them because they're cheaper if you buy them in four packs rather than individually at the at the gas station, you know. But they don't have watermelon in the four packs or the. I think they sell them in eight packs as well, or something like that. But um, certainly, it's cheaper. But this is actually really good. Hmm. So cool. Okay. You just dismiss that. Okay. All right. Uh, well, let's just uh, let's just see what faction missions we've got here. Uh. Ooh, this one should be good. And then there's uh, this one. Yeah, let's do that top one first. All right, we'll go to this one. I was actually able to get out and walk today, or, well, jog slash walk. Um, I jogged the first... Well, let me see, like mile and a quarter, mile and a half, maybe, something like that. And then I walk the rest of the time. Uh, normally I can, I can jog at least half the time. Well, it's funny when I'm at work and I'm jogging, we have, there's a path or a, like a quad area at my work where I'll jog and, or, well, actually, or I'll jog at the arena, which is like indoors it's upstairs at the top of this huge arena where the basketball players and volleyball players play and it's a little bit padded 
and I'll do my whole 5k around there jogging. I'll take a little bit of breaks here and there, but here lately I've been like, I'll jog a mile, take a break for like, I don't know, half a minute or something like that. Then I'll jog another mile, take a half a minute break. Then I'll jog a half mile break, half mile break. And then that's my 5k more or less. Uh, let's see, where's my, so I've been trying to get back to jogging because the last previous two days is too cold. So I just did my, my exercise bike, which is okay, but it's not really, you know, it's not really the same. Yeah. I did 3.2 miles today. Yeah. So, I mean, I, you know, my maximum heart rate was 143. It's, it's not terrible, but, um, I'm used to doing a much more, um, intense workout, uh, which sucks. Cause I mean, okay, I got out there and, you know, sweat a little bit, but not, you know, not really, not as much as I'd like, you know, so anyway, tomorrow though, I'm going to go and jog, uh, try to do better. And then the plan is, uh, to rake my leaves in the front yard. So hopefully, uh, get a built a little bit better of a workout. It's not something I enjoy. <laughs> you do my workout is not like fun, but I know that if I don't stay on top of it, then I'll just start gaining weight again. I mean, I can, you know, adjust my diet and and do better with that. But I gotta, I gotta, I, I want to keep losing weight. I want to get down under two hundred. So it's not the easiest thing in the world, especially when you think about. I've been heavy ever since I can remember, you know, I've never been a thin kid or or guy. Well, when I was a kid, I was never really thin unless I was eight, maybe, I don't know, something like that. All right, this is destroy the material containers. Let's switch to this. Fire. Okay, as long as we don't have any bad guys directly in front of us here. Got one. Over there. There's a shithead over there. Okay. Oh, we got two guys right here. Hang on, let me switch from the cobblin though. I don't think there's any drones in here, so we can switch to a... Uh, a uh, oh wait, actually, hang on. Uh, I got this little SMG. I kind of want to try it out just to try it out, though. Just because I want to try out some different SMGs. Uh, let's use them all. And then scope's fine. Uh... uh Well, I guess we're just using the regular extended stock. That's fine. And the trigger's fine. All right, let's switch to that one just to switch to it, just for fun. Just for funsies. So like the, the, the gun hardly moves when you fire. It's also extremely quiet. And it's also very mobile, it's, or mobile, however you want to say it. Um, so SMGs are great, but uh, they just don't do as much damage. So you have to kind of weigh that with what you're up against. I got a hostile over there. In this case, I like I'll the SMG, the or I'd, I'd, I want to use the SMG more because it's quieter. Uh, I can get around corners and stuff a lot easier. Biggest thing is quiet. The biggest thing is, is how quiet it is. Let me drone up for a second here. Let me find these containers. Oh, of course. Uh, hidden data in Aurora's secure network will reveal more info about the stocks, so they may not even be here. Crap. Ooh, he's got a gold item. We gotta go get that. 
hostile over there. Well, hang on, we got more bad guys over on this side too, but you know what? Let's just sink shot on. Roger, on. getting in position. Locked. Ready to shoot. Okay, let me see what we got here. These are so laying down, suppressing fire. Got him. Okay. There's a whole swarm of them. Got two bad guys right there, but I don't think they'll see me if I go this way. No, we're good. Okay, let's grab this gold item. Because the gold items are the highest. They have the best bonus item, bo bonus uh, statistics, therefore they are worth more if you're selling them. And I am, so... Ooh, come on, dude. Somebody else is about to see me over here. Don't see. Oh, it's that dude right there. I hate the people that get all scared. It's like really disconcerting. Good work, Gary. This helps. Who's trying to go for reinforcements? Where is he at? There he is. Closing some distance. We got company. Bad guys. Someone killed it at home. They're here. Find me some targets, y'all. Oh shit. Take that. See, that's the only bad thing about it, is that you can't always kill him with just a couple shots. Morgan bad guys over this way. Let's go take care of them. Got nice. Nice. Him. Got him. Through the, through is, the wall. Excellent. Switch back to syringes. Batteries drained. Drones out of the game. That's okay. We're good. Sweet to have it right about now. Nope. Grenade time. Hostile spotted. That'll show them. Case. My case is your face. Right, let's go over here. Because we're going to grab this intel. And then that's going to tell me to go somewhere else. Oh, I passed it up. Well, fine. We'll go over and grab this one real fast. Investigate. Now it's telling us to go somewhere completely different. Oh, hey, there's still more intel over here. Nice that means school. it's intel to something else.
Oh, this is located vehicle. Okay, well, cool. Come on, you know you want to come out and play, yay. Kill them all! Got him. Good Reloading. Shooting, Ooh, there's a helicopter right over here. What do you know? Scrub. Just get to the chopper. Okay, chopping that chopper. Uh oh. All of a sudden, my AI teammates just appear on the helicopter, which is great. Right. Looks like we're going that way. Um. Oh, geez, it's way the heck over here. Am I still in? Probably. Hang on. Oh, no, I'm not. I was going to say, I'm probably still in combat, but no, I'm not. So here we go. Uh, well, they're way over there, which is fine. There's these two here too, though. Mm. Yeah, let's go to this one. Let's fast travel to this one. Let me get this one first. in here. I don't think we really need to uh, bivouac. We're good. One of the Tadpool members, uh, is it Jeremy? I always forget. I think it's Jeremy. He was on here when I first was streaming yesterday, I guess it was. And uh, he couldn't stay very long, but he was like, yeah, I went ahead and got Horizon Zero Dawn. I was like, oh, dude, that's awesome. Because I think he said it was only like 20 bucks. Because it's an old, it is an older game. Not like, you know, super old game, but, you know. Uh... Oh, there's the, uh... Oh, this is a hack the PMC network. That's right, that's right. I forgot. I was like, wait, I'm, aren't I supposed to be destroying material containers? No, that's at the other thing. Hang on, I'm going to text something real fast. Monkey bananas.
Oh, dude, Monk Bananas, you should have been there for the play day. We even mentioned you because uh, Zoe uh, played for a little bit, and we were, and uh, Scott was asking her if she was back home and all that. And I was like, oh, yeah, she and Monkey Bananas were able to stream some and blah, blah, blah. And I think he said he watched part of it. He must have gone back, I guess, and watched your VOD, though. But, dude, it was so much fun. It was like we were in the call waiting uh, room, I believe. But it was great. It was as if Scott was actually with us on the Saturday Saturday phone call thing. It was great, man. It was really, really fun. And we played quite a few uh, 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 bouts, if you will. Rounds, whatever. Got him. But it was great. And Claire showed up, but she was late, so she didn't get to. She didn't get to play uh, uh, any rounds with us. But she still showed up in the chat, though, so that was fun. Mission complete. It was funny though, because Scott still found himself saying like, "Oh, I really need to play play more games with y'all." And we're like, "Yeah, we play games every Saturday, dude. Come on, you know, anytime you anytime you want, man. We're here." Um, Oh, thanks, Paul. Paul's always uh, liking my tweets when I when I go live. Okay, this one's clear out the drone camp. More than likely, that's going to be flyers. I'm assuming. Am I going that way? Right, yeah. Now, once I get there, I'll uh, switch to the Coblin. Because those flyers... Uh, so there's different types of drone flyers and the drone little mini tanks. There's different types. Um, some of the flyers, it, it's basically like um, there's smaller ones and then there's ones that aren't even armed. Uh, but the ones that are going to be on this mission are more likely going to be very heavily armed and very fast and like top of the line flyer drones, you know. So you, uh, you don't want to mess about. Yep, I can hear them already. Yep, there they are. Oh no, that's not them. They're over here. So yeah, let's definitely change change back to the Coblin real quick. Although I kind of like this little su submachine gun. I want to try out all the different weapons because, you know, like even this one here, I'm like, you know, I just try it out. Just why not? Let me just check it out. I have my favorites, but um, I like being able to use different ones. But the Coblin is what we're going to use for now. Oh, there they go. Okay. Unfortunately, you can't select them. Oh, yeah, you can. Never mind. Ready to shoot. Ah, come on. There we go. There we go. And we need one more. There we go. Let's get a little bit closer. Now, these things will mess you up, so you want to try to aim true and get them in the first shot if possible. Got them. Boom! Mission complete. You. Yeah. All right. Uh, and you can see they drop stuff down there. See, there's one over there. Some stuff there. Some stuff right there, 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 and there. So let's go and grab all of it. Some of it will be stuff that we don't really, don't really need, but you know what? It's here. It's not out of the way. Let's grab it. We got some ammo, some microchips, improved weapon parts. Uh, we got a gun. That's always helpful. Uh, where'd that other piece go? Here it is. We got some more ammo, weapon parts, integrated chipset. These are all materials for. Um, making your stuff like your uh, grenades and whatnot. Yeah, we got a gold item. Gold boots! Which are not better than what I have already, but that's okay. Alright, um, so now let's go and do this one. Uh, and let's go to this bivouac here. 
because uh, it's gonna take it might it's gonna take a little too long to try to run all that through all that. And we are planning on doing the play date um, Saturday as well, Monkey Bananas. So, I mean, that's Christmas Day, but I was telling everybody in the chat last week, I was like, well, I guess I'll go ahead and bivouac. For me, um, we do our Christmas stuff on Christmas Eve with family. Uh, and then Christmas Day, probably not going to really do anything. Um, and then Boxing Day, I'll be uh, hanging out with my friends. So, uh, I'm like, well, Christmas Day, um, don't really have anything going on. So, yeah, why not jump in the chat? So, that'll be fun. Okay, and then shop. And then, uh... You know, I don't really want to sell all of them, but I guess I will. Because I do have some other weapons that I could, I can play around with. Okay, so we got 20 grand. That should be enough to buy. Oh, well, we got to buy one of those. Buy one of those. And, oops. And we'll buy... Let's try to buy one of the more expensive... Well, we can't really buy too many expensive vehicles. Let's get... Uh, Let's get this one and this one. Oh, nope. I didn't mean to do that, but oh well, fine. Okay, here we go. And we'll break camp. Leave right now. All right. Now. Yeah, we're gonna go that way. One sec. For us, we'll probably do some Christmas stuff, both Christmas Eve and day. My day gets started pretty late at the moment right now as well. Uh, but I can join in at, if I can join in at all, a little Saturday. Cool, man. Yeah. Um, I mean, in a way, Christmas is easy. It's not necessarily better, but it's easy for me because I don't have my own family. So it's like me, my parents are going to go to my sister's house. And it's gonna be she. It's gonna be her and her family, and maybe her mother-in-law, and that's it. Because um, everybody else is, you know, my my other sister is kind of not under the weather exactly, but she's still a little afraid of all the COVID stuff. So she's probably not gonna. And I don't think she is feeling but feeling that great anyway. So she's probably just gonna uh, stay with her her daughter, uh, which is one of my my eldest niece, which is she's kind of more like my sister really. But anyway, so they'll probably hang out, those guys together. Um, so in a way, you go like, oh, well, that is a lot easier. Well, yeah, but it does kind of suck when you don't have your own family. That kind of sucks. Like, not even a spouse, that kind of sucks. Um, oh, wait, this one, and then... Boop! Oh, did I not do it? Oh, there it goes. All right. Uh, 
Let me switch from the Coblin. And let's see, we got the DMR Scout, which I've used before, and it's okay. The AK-47 Shorty, I really don't care for at all. I feel like I might dismantle that or get rid of it or something. Uh, I don't want to use any of the snipers, although this, uh, the M82 is pretty good. Um, these two, I don't know why I have both of them, because they're both the same thing. One's just tactical. The ACR Brown, that's the one that I got uh, when they first had Motherland come out. That was the one that if you watched certain people's streams for a certain amount of time, you got that as a freebie. Um, and that's where I watched, um, you know, I just realized that she hasn't been streaming lately. Her name's, uh, uh, um, uh, starts with an S. I can't remember her name now. She's, she's in UK. Her streams are fantastic. She's a lot of fun. Uh, the NVR is okay. Uh, taking oh sorry next week on the evening of the 28th mrs bananas my brothers and i will be taking the christmas lights tour oh you know what i did that uh actually when i went to my friend's mom's house the other day i did that actually i got it right here i'll show you just a piece of it because i have my uh dash camera it really works i never even thought of this as a thing but it's like yeah since i have a dash camera i can just drive through lights and then i have that on on not on tape on video uh, yeah here we go check this out so it's like well let's scroll through let's fast forward a bit just a, this is just a small area of people with lights right oh me there but it was like oh this is great like we can just drive through the lights and boom you you know you put this on your 4k TV and I was like, "Oh, this is really cool! I never even thought about I never even thought about using my my uh, dash cam that way. It just worked out. It was really great." But uh, so yeah, that's something I might do myself and just hey, just have the camera rolling like I usually do. Uh, you know the foul I haven't the F A L foul whatever you call it I haven't used that one in a while either. Um, you know what? Uh, no, I don't want to use the Echelon either. I kind of want to use the Scorpion. Well, but I've used the Scorpion already. Uh, let's use this Echelon one. No, you know what? I used this one last time too. Hang on. Let me use um, uh, the A2 Shorty. You know what? I haven't been using the A2 Shorty. Let's use this one. This one's cool. Alright, and by the way, what am I supposed to be doing here? Oh, I'm locating the prisoner, right? Uh, yeah, locate the prisoner. There's a shithead over there. I love that. There's a shithead over there. Like, that's just rude. You don't have to call them shitheads. But they're bad guys, so they are kind of shitheads. Ooh, there's a guy right there. Got him. I love that sound. Ooh. Got him. I'll size him up. Starting scan. Got him. See what Reloading. Here. No man, check it out. Got him. Let's reload. Swap. Do user A two here. So since it's an SMG submachine gun, right? It's super quiet and super like controllable. coming up from the sides here. See the red splotches? Enemy position marked there. I did an enemy position. 
Got him. Nice. All right, I saw some other dudes moving. I see them behind me too, though. You know what? Let's take care of these guys in front of me here. Well, behind me at the time, but in front of me now. Reloading. All right, this is the guy I'm supposed to probably escort. Let me switch to my sniper. That's a civilian. Don't shoot the civilian. Come on, you know you want to poke your head out. Come on. That got him. Reloading. I love that my AI teammates also like compliment me, going, man, that was a good shot, man. That was a good shot. Cool. I'm like, yeah, I know, right? All right, let's get over here. Oh, really? That didn't hit him? Alright, fine. Got him. Reloading. Okay, let's go back up here. Oh, what, look at what we got here. There's a, there's a mortar up there somewhere. Let's go ahead and take out the mortar real fast. Or maybe there's not. Maybe it was a... Oh, no, you know what? It must have been a, one of the mortar... Um, he's like a sniper rifle dude, but he's a grenade launcher dude. I forget what they're called. That was probably what that was. Ooh, yoink. Money! Okay. Lead. Okay, let's lead this guy over here. Because the idea is that we're going to extract him, right? So let's get in the chopper. Oh, no, I don't want to be a passenger. I want a pilot. No, pilot. Or in this case, drive. Yeah, I'm going to drive the helicopter like this. All right. Over here somewhere. Maybe the closest setting is right there. Customer support. That is the one. Yes, rescue engine. All right. Now, the nice thing to know is that I don't actually have to get right on that spot. I can just get close enough. Well, plus I'm not delivering the helicopter. I'm delivering the person inside the helicopter. So definitely don't have to be that close. Alright. Medium to right here. Come on, dude. Ben. Dude, will you get your ass over here? There we go. <laughs> He was like, oh, I'm going to hide right here. No, 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 you're, you're, you're safe. You're right here, dude. Come on. All right. Yoink. Now, uh, yeah, now all the other missions are down here, so we're good. So now let's bivouac to here. Uh, oops. There we go. We'll start there. By the way, did you guys see, uh, I don't know who else is in the chat. It says there's two people in the chat, but I don't know how accurate that is. So I just pretend that there's people in the chat all the time that I'm talking to. Did you guys see the finale of Hawkeye yet? I watched that, uh, I guess it was last night sometime, I think. Uh, I talked about it a little bit yesterday, but and I won't spoil anything. But man, that show's great. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, that show's great. Uh, I don't know if they're, I wonder if they're doing season two or... I think actually they might be going into um, Echo, the the lady in the show who's deaf. Uh, I think she's gonna get her own series. 
Well, I don't, I don't, I don't think she's going to get her her own series. She's going to get her her own series. Not, I think she will. Um, and her character was fantastic in that show. They did a one of the episodes. They did kind of like a flashback when she was a kid, so it was kind of showing like her origin or whatever a little bit. That was really strong. Like you meant that made you kind of go like, okay, I want to see more about this character, you know. Um. So yeah, that that looks like it'll be a good show too. I mean, I don't know anything about it, but. Boom. Keep doing that. That had the height. Hang on, is there something in here I need to get? Steal the helicopter, I assume. Uh, yeah, I gotta steal the helicopter. Um. Well, I'd rather do this one over here first, though. Roll without me. I'll find you. Oh, it's one of the electric ones. See how fast it goes? It goes like 0 to 100 in like 2 seconds. I think all electric vehicles, as I understand, are like that. They're all kind of super um, torquey. Is how I always hear them described as torquey. So when you take off, they take off like crazy. Eyes on a ground drone. Oh, drone. Pagmit going inside REI. Okay. I don't know what REI means, but sure. Got one over there. Uh, oh, I gotta destroy the truck. Okay. Oh, well, you know what? Hang on. I gotta make sure there's no civilians. Crap, and there are civilians. Dad gum it. Ooh, let's do this. We're gonna turn invisible. And these guys will not see us. Enemy position marked there. In fact, let's shoot the second guy. Oh, we're killing him. Our knife isn't invisible though. All right, how do I get these people out of here is my question. Because I'm going to destroy this truck. And I can kind of push them out of the way like this. Uh, I wonder if I can get on the bike maybe and sort of kind of nudge them. There we go. That kind of worked. There's a shithead over there. There we go. Yeah, get out of the way. Go on. I'm having to, like, literally push them out of the way because I want to destroy this truck and I don't want to get in trouble. Not in trouble, but I don't want to have it tell me, you know, I killed civilians. Because if you kill, I think, three civilians, like, more or less back to back, uh, it'll, like, make you do KIA, not KIA, but whatever, it'll say, like, game over, you know. Oh my god. Oh my god. So, go on, keep running, keep going. This is terrible. I'm, like, nudging this poor civilian all the way with a freaking motorcycle. I gotta get this guy out of the way, too. This is so silly. Come on, dude, go on. Go on, get out of here. Get on out of here. Alright, fine. Close enough. There we go. Good, it didn't kill them. Excellent. <laughs> Alright, switch back to this. Uh, now let's jump on the motorcycle again. And now let's go over here to the, the helicopter. Oops. Oops, back. There we go. Let's go over here to the helicopter. Get going. Anyway. Now because this is uh, a regular like gasoline engine, it doesn't go zero to sixty like in one second. So it's a little bit more of a ramp up to the top yeah, speed, which is a little bit more. It's easier to control. That electric bike is crazy. We don't need to worry about stopping to cross the road, right? Okay. 
work. Get off the bike. Now we've got a heavy, and we've got a basically it's like a bagman. So we do want to. Well, come on. One more. There we go. We'll got him. Uh, you know what? The Sheen, I may not stream for that much longer tonight. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I I don't have anything. Uh, well, I do have to do a little bit of cooking tomorrow for for Christmas, so I may not stay up. I may not stay on that long. I don't know. We'll see. Now I gotta steal this. And up, up, and away. Now we're going... Uh, probably over here, right? Yeah, flight surface. Still in the So now this, because the helicopter is the, uh, the objective, once I land, I won't be able to take back off again in the helicopter. So I can't, like, steal it twice. Basically, if I find a clearing, yeah, here we go. Now we're good. Watch out for the civilian. Try not to land on him, because you can actually land and kill civilians. You don't want to do that. If you can help it. Boom! Mission complete. All right. Um, yeah. See now, if I try to get back in the helicopter. It doesn't let me. It doesn't even give me an option. So you can't do anything. Alright. Does everybody have their Christmas shopping done, by the way? Hope so, because there's kind of not any time left. Um... Well, you know what? I'll just let me see. Uh, let me grab this car. There's a car right here. I did all my. I got the last of my Christmas stuff done on Tuesday. Um, I was really just waiting for one more item for my niece's son uh, to put with his gift. Because uh, I got all my my sister's three kids and then my niece's two kids. I got all of them like multiple stuff. Like it's not just all just one present for each of them, you know. So uh, I had to wait for that last piece uh, for my great nephew's uh, present. But we're all good to go now, and uh, the only thing I have to worry about for tomorrow evening is I'm making uh, my yeast rolls because uh, we're not doing. I don't think we're going to do tamales at all. I think we're just doing like my sister's going to cook a ham. I think that's all we're doing, just ham and whatever fixing to go with it, you know. Uh, is this where we're going? But uh, uh, her her girls love the the rolls that I bring because they're just rolls. I mean, they're like I don't know if you guys have seen them. Uh, I'm sure you probably have seen them in the stores. But all it is is these little yeast rolls, and you buy them in like a pack of 36 or so. And it's these little dough balls about this big, and um, you take them and put them into whatever you're going to cook them into, right? And you proof them for like. Five, five hours maybe, something like that. You can proof them a little bit faster, but I usually just do the regular slow method. Uh, and they like double in size and all that good stuff. And then, uh, there's a mini uh, gunner. yeah, I know there's a mini gunner. And then you just cook them for like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, something like that, I think. I see a sniper. Oh, damn it. There we go. Ooh, here's a gold item. Uh, let's try and switch back. I think there's a whole opening over here. But yeah, I mean, they, they're they just so... like I don't mean to brag. <laughs> there's nothing really to brag about, because it's not like I actually, you know, make them from scratch or anything like that. Um, but they're just... Because they're idiot-proof, right? Thankfully. Thank goodness. Uh, but... Uh, my nieces and then my uh, nieces' kids—they absolutely love them when I bring them. 
Because it's just bread, and they're just so good. They're nice and fluffy and all that. They're fantastic. And great for leftovers, too, because you can take and put, like, um, jam in them or something like that, or, you know, whatever. So they're really great. They're just kind of... Uh, 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 you can use them for anything, really. You can make them more savory or more sweet and all that kind of stuff. It's great. Oh, got a turret. You gotta be careful with these windows right here because they will see you through the windows. Oh, jeez, there's two guys right here. That was close. There's a case in there, but... Eh, well, fine. It's just right here. Actually, it's not just right here, but it's sort of kind of here. Oh, here we go. We got a heavy right here. Got him. Reloading. So you have to hit him in the head to remove his helmet, and then you can shoot him in the head. I think you can actually kill them just by shooting them like normal, but it takes quite a few shots. I'll get a better look at the area. Now everything's crystal clear. The other ones! Ah. I wanted to go up on the roof and get that gold out of him, but eh. Be advised, hostile alert. Yeah, no kidding. Oh jeez, I thought that was. Where is the reinforcement? Oh, there he is. Get that dude. Oh wait, no, it's this guy here. Shit. Moving to the target. Wait for it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. As soon as that goes solid. Ooh, level 60. Yeah. Great. Now we get reinforcements coming at us. That's that's okay. You know what? Let the bad guys come. Here's what we're doing. Oh boy. Come on! Come on! Got him. That worked. Oh dang it! He got my. Shoot. All right, jump out before it explodes. Get away from the helicopter. Crap. Well, at least I didn't die. You know, at least there's that. Gotta give me that at least. At least I didn't die. Oh, look at that, I've already disappeared. Let's go around this way. Uh, can we not get in this way? I don't think we can get in that way. Combat drone's battery is drained. The extra firepower would have helped. Alright. I don't think we can get in this way either. You should have the cobble for this, but that's all right. We're not, uh, we're not going to climb here. Here comes the heavy. Wait for it. I ought to just sink shot him, really, but. There's another dude on the right side too. 
Got him. I know, huh? Oh jeez. That was close. Nice. Now I gotta find a way in. Reloading. Really I'm gonna have to go all the way around? Jeez Louise, alright, fine. This guy over here? Oh, he's on the other side. Auto turret in sight. Well, let's concentrate on the actual mission here. Because the actual mission is back over this way, these two Just green dots. That'll do some damage. It's these containers right here. complete. Oops. Uh, man, I really want that gold item over there, but it's way the heck up on the top of that building. So I don't really want to mess with it. Oh, jeez. I thought the truck had already exploded, but apparently it, it had not already exploded. Oops. Oh boy, we got a bunch of guys right here. Ah, uh, really? Alright, fine. I mean, I was walking straight toward him, but still. There you go, try killing the guy first before he revived me. Walk over here, or run over here. Watch the heavy. Got him. Nice shot, boss. I know, huh? All right, let's grab this little, this little. Uh, yeah, let's get this little jobber here. Roll out. I'll find oh wait. You later. Hang on. Reloading. Um, Shit, by the way, what gunner. am I doing here? Oh, I'm just supposed to destroy. Oh, that's right. This is part of the same mission. I got a hostile over there. Throwing a live one. <laughs> Both this works. Bad guy in sight. Enemy down. Oh shit! Run, run, run! Jeez Louise! Alright, you gotta get the case, of course. Light him up! That'll do some damage. Target okay. neutralized. Heavy's down. 
Nice, excellent, excellent work. Fix it or whoever it was. Okay, reloading. Oh, the heavy had a uh, gold item, I think. Somebody did. Is it? Uh, I don't know where the gold item is. Ah, it's probably up on the roof. I'm not going to mess with it. Because I don't need the item, like, for myself. Like, oh, I need a... Oh, here it is. So I'm just wanting to sell it. So. Alright, let's go. Now let's take this... We'll take this other little car this time. They're both afterburns. They just have different... Uh, just have different uh, paint jobs. Can I go over this? No, I cannot. Oh my goodness gracious, come on. Here we go. Followed the road out, we could probably do better. There we go. A little bit of drifting there. Alright, now where are we going next? Um Oh shoot, we're going way the heck up here, aren't we? Or did we already finish all the missions? Shut up. Oh no we didn't. They're down here. Okay. So first let's just get out of uh out of the firefight, right? So that we can fast travel. Because you can't fast travel while you're in uh oh, in a fight. Oops, let me do that. Oops, let me do that. God dang it. Well, that's fine, we're out of fight. Out of the fight now anyway. Oh wait, down here. Uh Let's go ahead and bit whack over here. There we go. <laughs> Scott is still recording core. Oh, I saw this game. They're talking about uh, it's medieval tavern crafter or something, is what they're looking at. Um. It's just yeah, we it, need a brutal version of this thing. Like, the long swords come out and blood gets splashed. Let me pull this across here so I can put this link here. So, the Sheen, if you're ever wondering about Scott, he's recording. He's doing a podcast right now. Uh, let's see. That one's there. That one's there. Um... Yeah. Yeah, let's go do those two. Let's grab this boat. What's that a boot? These little woodies, which are you can see water inside the inside the uh hull or whatever. I love that the controller, of course, vibrates as your piloting does a little bitty boat down the river. I have you. Uh, oh, let's take out the sniper. Getting in position. Bad guy spotted. Got this guy right here. Target. Standing by 
and the sniper here. Watch for it, wait for it, wait for it. One, two, and three. Boom. Got him. Rock and roll. I see a rocket gunner. Yeah, I was about to say that guy might turn into here. Those are all civilians. Uh, so this is going to be six Sempers Tyrannus, which is uh, that's what John Wilkes Booth said to um, wait, John Wilkes Booth? Yeah, said to uh, Lincoln. Um, Oh, so this is locate the commander. Okay, cool. Sometimes it will say you got to look for a document or interrogate somebody to find out more information. Sometimes it's that, but this looks like it is just find the commander. Oh, there he is. So all we have to do is kill him. So let's go way over here. This will give us better eyes on the perimeter. And go all the way over here. Because we don't need to, we don't need to mess with any of these guys. There we go. Might as well go ahead and take him out. That's a bag man right there on the left. Reloading. Okay, and then back around over this way. I could pull up the breach kit thing, but I kind of hate messing with it. Oh, wait a minute. Make sure that truck's not coming this way. Oh, jeez. Hang on. Okay, he went the other way. Scanning the area. These results are out. No. Whoa. That's it. Holy shit. They must be close. Bet bet your ass were close. Mission complete. We're out of here. Reloading. See, we didn't even have to wake anybody up in the camp. All right, so now uh, we got to get this info. We got to get that info right there. So we can't just get out of here, unfortunately. We got to get this info over here. Uh, but you know what? That allows me to do this. Yoink. All right, back out. Doing anything wrong. You're not safe, dude. I'm not going to hurt you. Don't worry about it. Let me see what we're at. Boom. Sweet shot, Ghost Lead. I know, huh? Ooh, there's. Hang on. Ah! Stay vigilant. Got him. Reloading. Switch the SMG. Go straight up here. Here's the intel. Okay, stairs, stairs, whole cake stairs. Stairs. Cool thing is, once you play this game enough, you kind of start to go, oh, okay, I know where the stairs are going to be. You kind of get used to the layout of this, these places. Excuse me, dude. I just need this information oh, next to your workstation. I love the idea of like this. This is where people work, you know. And you just walk in with your guns. You know, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Totally cool. Ooh. No, 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 no. Although it does kind of go. Wait, you work in a business here, and I just picked up this Blackhawk Strike armor. Where the hell do you work? Like that's weird. But it's still great. I love it. It's so much fun. Excuse me, pardon me. Um, oh, my God. Who are you? oh, you know what? Let's, uh... So we got 
over here, locate the Sentinel commander. We got these two. Uh, I guess let's go up here and locate the Sentinel commander. So let's see if we can't find a car. Ouch. Okay, and there should be a car. Uh. Oh, it's right here. Okay, I'm gonna steal your truck. A nice green. Ooh, this is a heavy truck too. This thing's handling very, very sluggishly. But it's a heavy truck, so what do you want? Hi guys, bye guys. So now we're going to where the trash is. Hey Gabriel, what's going on? Yeah, it's funny, the uh, the trucks in this game, they don't want Ford, so they call them a scenery, whatever that is. Um, some of them, like, you go, well, that's obviously a Jeep, you know, like, but it's not a Jeep because Jeep, you know, they'd have to get permission and all that stuff, so, you know, there's that. They can't use the Ford logo because, yeah, licensing, right, exactly. Dang it, I'm down. Hey, I got the bad guy, though. Some of these games, though, they, they're able to get the licensing, but this one, I think, I think it was one of those things where they go, well, we don't really need the added cost. Plus, I don't know that places like Ford um, would let them because it's like, well, you're going to be crashing our cars. We don't want that, you know. All right, let's steal their truck again. This Ford F-150, which is not a Ford F-150. Let's try to get out of here. Oh, jeez. Uh. Oh, we're riding on a... Our tire's gone. Okay, let's just drive until we're out of... Uh, out of combat here. Look at, the, look at the tire. I love that this game allows your tire... Like, you can shoot tires out on cars. It's really cool. Okay, we're out of combat now. We're going to go back down over this way. Uh, well, you know what? The, the This is too far, so let's just drive it. Let's just drive it. If we can not crash more. Ooh! See, there's no lights anymore on the front of the truck. They're gone. So if we want to see now, we'll have to do the uh, night vision. Which, yeah, this is... The moonlight's pretty good. We don't really need night vision right now. Oops. Alright, 
right, there's our next mission that way. Ooh. Okay, we're out. This one is Police the Police, which is hack the drone's computer. I may or may not have to uh, defend this position, so we'll take it slow here. We are summoning the devil. Nice. You're not going to smoke nothing. You couldn't smoke a ham. shooting those little drones because they're so cute. Reloading. Alright, let's grab this. I think this one we might have to defend for like two minutes. So, let's uh, kind of regroup here. Oh, and there's a dude we gotta talk to as well. Talk. I'm not gonna, I'm hurt, gonna you. hurt you. Oh, let's look at the spot. Okay. Do you happen to know anything? That's everything. All right. So it. now, goodbye. More than likely, and what will happen is probably uh, either helicopters or trucks will come up. Oh no, we don't have to defend. Okay, great, no problem. All right, no worries. All right, 2.4 kilometers. That's. Yeah, over here, there, and there. Uh, oh, and the other one's way over there. Uh, you know what? Let's do that one last. Well, shoot. Yeah, we'll go here. That's fine. I think we will go ahead and bivouac, though. Okay, deploy bivouac. Okay, now we'll go and craft macaroni and cheese. I know I've talked about this before, but man, it's been forever since I've had macaroni and cheese. Um, man, I saw a thing the other day. Welcome back, Monkey Bands. I saw a thing the other day where somebody was talking about how Kraft macaroni and cheese, it's always like, man, they don't put enough cheese in there. Uh, no, it's the uh, the ones in a box that has the powder, Gabriel. There's a, uh, and then they were talking about how, you can thank me later, but if you look on Amazon, you can search for the powdered, you can buy the powdered cheese by itself. So you can like just buy the powdered cheese and add it to your already cheesy macaroni and cheese. I was like, that's genius. That's really cool. But, uh, yeah, I, I, it's been forever since I've had any kind of pasta like that. Uh, oh, really? People? Really? That seems a weird thing to be controversial about. Although, here's the thing. Oh, I did see... You know what, Gabriel, now that you're mentioning it, I think I did see something about that. My thing is, like... To me, that's controversial. Like, putting pineapple on pizza is controversial. Like, if you like it, what's the controversy you know like if you like macaroni and cheese canned cool great other people might go yeah i don't really care for that that much it's not my thing okay great we don't all have to like the same thing right it's that kind of deal uh let's buy this one here uh but yeah it is funny how some people get worked up over stuff like that and you go man why why are you getting so worked up about it uh it doesn't make any sense 
But, uh, yeah, I know some people like the shells and cheese, macaroni and cheese, which is the one that has the little pouch where the, the cheese is, like, mushy, like it's a uh, whatever. It's not the powder stuff. Um, I don't know if I ever had a preference. I like just the regular one. Um, I think that's more about which one you grew up with maybe or something maybe it's more that more of a thing like that I guess I don't know oh, what am I doing here I'm sitting here going like well let me run over this way and run that way I got a helicopter right here for goodness sake get to the chopper yeah I think for me I probably prefer the powdered stuff because that's what I remember from when I was a kid you know uh, but I've tried the, the, the stuff that's the, the actual cheesy, you know, little pouch thing. And that's still really good, too, though. I mean, is there a, is there a macaroni and cheese that's bad? I don't think so. Oops. Okay, I bet that's the squad right down there. Maybe. It's very dark. Okay, stop sliding already. Jeez Louise. Okay, there we go. Activating night vision. Too salty, really? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I've... Yep, that's the bad guys. So since there's four of them, and there's civilians, I can't just bomb them. Here, watch I'll show you. Where's Dr. Ballard? Where'd they take him? Tell me! So I can't just bomb them. So I'm gonna sink shot him this way. Let's get over this way. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. This will be fun. Let's do this. We're now invisible. Really? Why are we not shooting these guys? There we go. My 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 teammates are supposed to fire either when I shoot someone, hit the X button, or if I stab someone. They're supposed to fire. I don't know why they did not do that, but whatever, fine. I think some for some people the the macaroni and cheese thing. I think it's more. At least it seems it seems to me that it's more of a uh, 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 consistency thing, right? Um, like they they don't they don't like it because it doesn't take it doesn't have the same mouth feel, right? Um, but I don't know. For me, it's probably to me it would be more a matter of how the cheese tastes, because you know that that fake cheese actually has a really specific taste that's really good. Um, I think that's the thing I like about that kind of fake cheese. I kind of like that it's salty. Enemy location. Drone battery is zero. It's out. Got him. Ooh, let's go ahead and grab the purple item he dropped. I think that's the same way people are about um uh um uh what you call it um cranberry sauce. Some people are like, no, I like cranberry like a... It's kind of like the difference between jelly and jam. Some people don't like jam or preserves because they like the jelly that's more of a... Uh, uh, like a gel rather than a... Yeah, whatever thing. So I can understand that. Boom. Mission complete. Done. One more to go. And this one I think I'll go ahead and... Go to this bivouac. There we go. For me, when it comes to cranberry sauce, I'll take it either way. I'll take it where it's actual cranberries and it's like chunky and all that kind of stuff. That stuff's really good. But I'll take it from the can as well when it's it's like just jelly. Because, I mean, either one tastes, to me, they, they taste similar and I don't care about which, I don't care if it's smooth or whatever. I don't really care. Because I'll take and eat it with some ham, you know, like you would, um, like a mint jelly you put with ham, right? It's kind of like that. So I'll take it either way, really. Okay, this is just locate the squad, so all we have to do is find some bad guys. In fact, I'll bet that's them right there. 
Uh, it is not. You know, if you're gonna hide, you might want to actually hide where I can't shoot you. Boom. There's a pig up on top of the... There's a shithead over there. That's hilarious. I would shoot that pig, but I don't need any animal protein for anything. Um, you can pick up animal protein to make certain rations, but all my rations are maxed out because I never use them. Uh, so I don't need to shoot him, so I don't want to shoot a pig if I don't have to. Movement at kitchen front door. Or, well, it's the kitchen window is what it is. Four hundred meters in closing. Actually, it's four fifty, four forty. I'm always impressed at my dude the way he runs, cause like I can't run like that. Think about think about all the equipment he's carrying on his back. He's he's carrying two different weapons. Ooh, what's over here? Yeah, those are civilians. Don't shoot those guys. Uh, I, every time I play this game, I always think about how this is how I jog. This is this is my pace. That's my pace right there. That's me. This pace, I could do, you know, uh, you know, I could do a lap uh, at my work at the, uh, um, the, the track, the, what do you call it? I always, not the gym, but anyway, whatever it's called. I could do a lap, which is like a 10th of a mile. I could maybe jog, or sorry, run full tilt like that for maybe a lap that's about it though man it sucks though because it's like I always thought as I was able to jog you know like full five kilometers and stuff I was like oh this is great I always thought well it's got to get easier at some point right I'm like no it doesn't get any easier okay get that guy alright now you know what? We're going to take off the suppressor. It's going to be very loud. Ready? Bam. Good hits. Let's put this suppressor back on. There we go. Now let's go grab your stuff. Okay. Now I think that might be all the missions for uh, this. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it looks like that's uh, staying safe is all done. Boom. Um, long road to victory. Yeah, we're done with all the faction missions. Uh, did I level earlier? I think I did. No, I don't think I did. If I had 10, I'd go ahead and add to this one, but I don't have 10 points, so oh well. Uh, so let's see. Let's go to the closest bivouac. Which I think is going to be back at this one. Not that it matters if it's the closest one or not. It doesn't really matter. Oh, um, A Christmas Story is almost over. They're on the last part where they go to the Chinese restaurant. That's such a great movie. 
that's one of those let's go ahead and bivouac that's one of those ones that um oh and it's on the part at the very end when the parents uh they're having like a glass of wine and they're looking out the window and they're looking at all the christmas lights and they're playing some christmas music and she sits next to him on the on the couch, you know, and he puts his arm around her, and it's just like, ah, oh, so great. Oh, they're both drinking the glass of wine. But it's very kind of silent night, you know. It's very sweet. Such a great movie. Boop, boop. Oh, did I not? Oh, I'm so stupid. I put it like this, and then I forgot to go boop. There we go. Um, in the shop. Come go over here. Sell all the weapons that I don't have favorited. There. Sell the pair of pants. Pantalones. And then I uh, don't need any supplies there. <clears throat> and I'll buy. Let's buy this truck here. There we go. So we don't have too many vehicles left to get, but unfortunately, some of them are 20 grand or 60 grand, 55, 55. So they're, they, the ones I have left to get are pretty, still pretty expensive. Uh, and let me go ahead and close this movie. And start. Let's put the first Captain America in. Just, just have something to play. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, Stanley Tucci's in this. I'll just let it play from where it started. It's like a 15 minutes in. By the way, there's another thing. <clears throat> I know I talked about this the other day, but if you guys have not seen Spider-Man and you want to see it without being spoiled, hurry, because. I keep seeing a lot of, I keep seeing these little details where I go uh, it's not exact they're not exactly a spoiler but it's not uh, it's mm, it's really hard to like like because I have seen it I know where I'm like well that's kind of sort of giving something away maybe sort of kind of and I'm just like man I'm glad that I've already I've already seen it so I don't have to worry about being spoiled or anything uh Okay, now let's go and do, um, well, we got to exit out of the bivouac first. You know what? Maybe we can take out some, um, uh, uh, whatchamacallit deals, the, the big tanks, the, um, uh, behemoths. I don't think I want to take that one out, though, because that one's kind of hard to get to. Let's do, um, I think there's one up here somewhere, right? I always forget what the symbol looks like, because that's murmurs, right? Those are the flyers. And the Amons, or Amons, I'm not sure how you say it. That's what those look like. Those are the little mini tanks. Okay, there's a behemoth area right there, but uh, that one's kind of hard to get to, too. Let's not do that one. Um, uh, that's Amon or Amon. I'm not sure how you say it. Murmur. Uh, there's one along this left side, I think, somewhere. I'm trying to remember where it's at. It's not like it's easy to get to, but it's certainly easier than some of the other areas. Uh, is it this one? No. Oh, yeah, it is that one. Okay. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go. We're gonna bivouac here. Okay, there we go. And we're definitely gonna switch to the Coblin on this one. Although, 
we'll use the cobbling at the, at the, that the once we have him softened up a bit, then we'll use the uh, the cobblin. Okay, so let's go here. Um, let's switch out this for the EMP grenade. And this A2 shorty, we're going to swap out with the Coblin, which is our friend. Um, I thought I marked it. No? Behemoth. All right. To the right. Over this way. The behemoths are freaking scary, though. I mean, they are huge, huge tanks. Like, they're the size of... I mean, they're like the size of like six SUVs put together. They're crazy huge and scary. And they're drones, so there's no like human pilot that you can like, oh, I'll just fool him. You know, they're, they're very much like a Terminator in that, in that regard, you know. They will not stop until you are dead, right? It's that thing. And you gotta be careful too because if you run up on them, they'll hear you running. Like, they can hear your footsteps. I mean, I just thought of something though. I can, I, I can also turn invisible. But... We've been at it pretty hard, boss. You look like you need to rest. I'm okay. I think what I'm going to do is throw a couple EMP grenades, hit him with a uh, rocket launcher, and then once I get him down to, I don't know, maybe halfway or something, I'll switch to the Coblin, turn invisible, and take him out. Because the EMP grenades, you don't have to turn invisible. Because it basically shorts him out for a few seconds, like 10 seconds or something. But there's EMP 1, 2, and 3, <clears throat> and I think the first one is like... I don't know, five seconds, and the second one's like ten, and then twenty or there. something like that. Let's go ahead and take these guys out. There's a shithead over there. There we go. Let's grab their stuff. Because that's what we do. Ooh, honey. God, I'm so I'm so hooked on honey. Because I try to like, you know, not eat any like sugar like refined sugar you know if i do eat anything sweet i'll eat honey and, oh man it's so good i know it's bee, bee vomit but it's still good so you know whatever you hear him you hear him already there he is and the problem is we need to get close to him we're a little too far here. But if we get too close, we don't have any cover. Like, that, that, these two rocks here don't really provide much cover. But... Activating uh, night vision goggles. So let's do this. Let's see if we can throw this far enough. Ooh, actually, we might be able to throw it far enough where we can stay out of his sight line. Wait for it. So it will fire like rot, like regular gunfire, but then it also will do. Hit him where oh, it It'll do mortar fire as well. Oh boy, here we go. Coming in hot. That you know? They hit Vasily.
Reloading. Oh my gosh, two of my two of my peeps are already down. Good to go. Fix it down. Oh shoot. This calls for a light. Did I get him? Oh I got him. Nice! Got him. We got 2,500 skill credits, a whole bunch of metal parts, electronic sensors, explosive device. Yeah. Back in this. Oh, shut up. Look at that thing. Look at it. It's so freaking cool. But it's scary, man. It is really scary. I remember when I first saw it when I was like, get out of town. There's no way I'm going to take that thing out. How am I supposed to destroy that thing? But I did somehow. All right, let's find another one. Uh, let's see. That's a murmur. I forget where all the other ones are. Oh, there we go. There's one right there. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, maybe take, you know what? We might take this one out and then maybe quit for the night. I don't know. We'll see. I wonder if Scott's wrapping up his stream. Cool. I think your world is cool. I think your music's Love those guys. Pretty much anybody related or any anybody to do with frog pants is great. Um, I have to say, just a great community. Um, and all gathered around one guy, Scott Johnson, because he's, he's a nice guy. Caring and just great and awesome and all that and so therefore everybody who follows him is too oh and I just realized I don't have any rockets so unfortunately I need to bivouac okay and I probably don't have the materials to craft more rockets but I can certainly save a little bit of money and oops make one of these um oh I got Plenty for that. The other ones I'll buy. Because I do not have the materials. One, two. They're only 50 uh, credits a piece, so they're not super, super expensive, but still. Okay. Uh, get rid of those. I only have these two to get rid of. Um, okay. So same plan of attack. Um, the only thing I messed up last time was um, I didn't stay on him. Uh, I should have moved up closer and hit him with another EMP grenade. I stayed back and therefore the second EMP grenade did not hit him. It didn't... Uh, mess him up so I'm gonna try to do that this time if I can get close to him though it's harder it's harder depending on where the bivol or the depending on where the thing is oops he heard me quietly quietly oh there he is right there See, he's going away so we don't have a good uh, vantage on him there. But I wonder if though we can do this. Hang on. No, he didn't hear that. It's too far away. Oh, here he comes.
Come on, one more. Bad guys all over, so hang on, did I not get him? Okay, there it goes. We get to Fury. Oh, they got him. Or got her. Okay, give me my rewards here now, right? That worked out perfectly, though, didn't it? Basically, I was able to hit him with two rockets, um, and then then hit him with a, uh, the EMP grenade, and then hit him with two more. That worked out perfectly. That was great. Okay, I assume I did get the items for killing him. I just didn't see it. Uh, oh, there's a purple item. Let me grab this real quick, too. The only thing is, is now I gotta go back and bivouac to rearm. But I think I might quit here for tonight. Yoink. Alright, so let's... Wait, hang on. Oh, that was a medical truck. I don't know if that was a medical drone or not, but... I don't think I've ever seen that before, though. I don't think I've ever seen one of these medical trucks. Cause these are civilians here, so. Too much light. Uh, okay. Uh, let's just go to this. Well, shoot, the bivouac's right here behind us. Uh, isn't it? Wait, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's right here. Okay. Yeah, it's right up here. Rather than you know, go through the load screen. We'll just run to it because it's right here. We'll bivouac and then we'll quit for tonight. Just a couple hours. Tomorrow, more than likely, I will not stream because uh, um, I plan on going gonna, gonna to go do my jog in the morning, come back, rake my leaves, uh, I'm gonna get my rolls proofing. But really other than that, I don't have anything to do until I think it's like six o'clock is when we go to my sister's house. Something like that. I think. Um okay, let's craft. Uh do we have enough for this one? Yeah, I guess we do. These little things here, basically that's all you end up using them for. So might as well. And you know what? After this, we'll we'll go raid Scott. If there's anybody in the chat, there may I may not have anybody in my chat. And I don't know if Scott has it turned on or off where you can raid his channel or not. But uh, if we can, we'll do it. All right. Oh, and let's buy. Uh, well, I was gonna say the cheapest thing, but that's only this one. Okay. All right. So yeah, we'll quit here for now. Uh, thanks everybody for hanging out. Gabriel, the Sheen, Monk Bananas who came by, anybody else who may have been hanging out in the chat, appreciate it. Uh, in the meantime, let's go raid Scott. No, stop that. Stop that. Slash raid frog pants. There we go. Uh, we got one viewer. Eh, whatever. Here we go. Ready? Five, four, Thanks, you guys. I'll, I'll probably catch up with you guys maybe Christmas Day or maybe Boxing Day. We'll see. All right, raid. Cool. I think the, um, the open-world stuff is honestly a perfect fit for Halo. Because to me, Halo has always been better.